Good morning, Lansing. I am Melanie Youngsma, publisher of the Lansing Journal, and I am here today with Josh Bootsma, our managing editor. Good morning, Lansing. And we are trying something new today. It is Friday morning as we're recording this, so we're trying sort of a Friday roundup. And if things go well and we get this turned around quickly, our subscribers will see it in their email inboxes on Saturday morning. So it's been a busy week, Josh. It has. I looked at yeah. our stats, and uh, so far this week, the week isn't even over, but so far we've published 21 stories. And uh, which ones do you think we should be highlighting for our readers? Yeah, well, there are so many good ones. Uh, this week especially, there was a lot of good content. Um, over half of those stories that Melanie mentioned were written by local reporters. So that's myself, Melanie, or our, our freelancers, um, our talented freelancer pool. That, uh, so those are all, they're all good stories, but one that probably stands out to me uh, would be uh, the Lansing Public Library is going to debut its youth and teen section next week. Um, so our reporter Jennifer Yost was on the scene there, was able to talk with uh, Library Director Debbie Albrecht and um, was able to get a tour of the, of the new basement section. If you've been to the library in the last year or so, you know that there's been lots of work going on in the basement of the library. Um, but that work is done, and it'll be open to the public um, at the um, open house event. Now, that open house event is actually instead of the block party, which I know people always look forward to. They're not doing the block party this year, but as your consolation prize, you get to see the new basement uh, the library, which is really, really going to be cool. There's a lot of modern stuff down there. Yeah, we were there last night for the Hometown Heroes presentation. So we, you know, if you if you go in the basement doors, you get a sense of some of the changes that have been made, and it yeah. really looks nice. It's going to be a, it a great addition to the community. So I hope you all can make it to that um, open house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you wrote quite a few of the stories this past week. Yeah, that's you're right. You're not only the managing editor; you're also one of the journalists. Was there any particular story that stands out as a highlight to you as a reporter? Hmm. Yeah, I would say probably Wednesday morning's ribbon cutting for um, Lansing's newest business, Music Minds. That was fun. Um, that was fun. It was a very high energy event. So Music Minds is a, is a music shop that's opening on 3238 Ridge Road, right in the heart of downtown Lansing. Um, and they're going to help you with your uh, lessons if you want to learn pretty much any instrument you can think of. They're going to help you. Even if you don't have that instrument, they're going to help you find ways to rent it or buy an instrument so you can go there for vocal lessons. If you want mm -hmm. to learn to play the trumpet, I haven't played the trumpet since high school, but if I wanted to pick it up again, I could learn to play the trumpet, play the piano, uh, learn to be a DJ. All wow. that stuff they can help you with. Yeah. yeah. So that was a really fun event. It was a high-energy event. The Franklin family is excited to be in, in Lansing, um, and we're excited to have them. Yeah. yeah. Good people. Yeah. So what, what have you been working on this week? I don't get to write as much as I used to since you became the, the content guy, the managing editor. I tend to focus my time on raising the money we need to keep this newspaper going. But I did write one story this week about a new feature on our website. If you go to our website and you see that green menu bar, uh, one of the features toward the right-hand side is called uh, Local Info. And if you hover over that, you'll see three options below that. One is local events, one is the local business directory, and now we also have local jobs. Mm -hmm. And we added that because we know that businesses are gearing up again, coming out of the pandemic, and they need help. They're looking for employees. They're looking for staff. Yeah. So that's a way for them to post um, new openings. It's also a way to help local job seekers. There are a lot of jobs available here, right here in Lansing. Yeah. And the feature also covers the surrounding area. So make sure you check that out if you know somebody who needs a job or if you're a business who needs employees. That's a feature we installed to try to help our local businesses. Yeah, I was really surprised looking at that, how many jobs were actually from Lansing. It's amazing. There are so many, There's so many. So this is a good way because you have people who, who need help, um, who need help in their businesses and you have people who, who need a job so this is a good bridge to kind of bring those two groups of people together so that's what we're hoping so be sure to check that out if you're I either you weren't looking for a job were you Josh? no I'm not looking for a job <laughs> but if I was I'd go to the Lansing <laughs> Journal page <laughs> yeah I also want to let people know about a meeting that we had right here on Monday night with writers who write for the Lansing Journal yeah this was the first time we were together in person very long time. more than a year, yeah. 16, 17 months. Yeah. And it was so good to see everybody in person. 
and to welcome a couple of our new writers. Uh, these, are, these are people who have just started writing for us in the past couple of months. Uh, we met them via Zoom, and we've had phone calls with them, but we finally got to shake hands and meet face-to-face -face and yeah. just get a sense of who these people are. That was a good meeting, a lot of energy there, too. It was a good meeting, and a lot of these, all of our freelancers, besides you and I who work for the paper full-time, all of our freelancers are doing something else with their time as well, full-time, whether retired or whatever. Um, so these are people who are choosing to spend their extra hours going out and investing in this product, the Lansing Journal product, and investing in our community. So um, we are really grateful for all the work that they've put in, and um, we're hopeful for as things continue to move back towards normal that, that more and more people will uh, join the team and we can join the community in more and more events. Right, it really makes us a better paper to have people like this. They bring such a diversity of experience, a diversity of interests, and, um, you know, Josh and I can't do it all, and we shouldn't be doing it all because we we want uh, to represent the Lansing community. So we need we need variety. We need different ideas. Yeah. We need um, just fresh thinking. So it was good to sit around the table and just talk to each other and and bounce ideas off each other. Yeah. And I'm excited. You know, a lot came out of that meeting. That's going to require a lot of follow up. Uh, this video is one of those ideas that came out That's of that right. meeting. That's right. And regarding, you know, a diversity of ideas, and we, I think of story ideas as the managing editor, and that so many of our story ideas come from readers, come from people like you, who know things that we don't. Melanie and I cannot be everywhere. Our, our freelance reporters cannot be everywhere in town. So if you have a, a fun event going on, um, if you have, a, yeah, just any idea that you would think would look good or make a good article in the Lansing Journal, we'd love to hear from you. Yeah, there are ways to contact us on our website. You can you can check that out, or feel free to email info at thelansingjournal.com. Josh and I both get those emails, yeah. and uh, we will reply. To, we reply to every email that we receive, so please reach out and let us know. Yeah. So this weekend is Memorial Day weekend. True. Um, which is exciting. It's good. The weather promises to be pretty good, um, and we want to let people know of a, of a Sunday event, Sunday, so the day before Memorial Day. Um, the Lansing Ceremonial Honor Guard at the Lansing Veterans Memorial, 2 o'clock on Sunday, is going to be doing a bit of a, a, a ceremony, a service, um, in honor of Memorial Day. So that'll be, that'll be good. They do that every year, and they're expecting a good crowd with the good weather. Um, and they're actually going to be dedicating the Artis statue. Artis is a, is a war dog in Vietnam, was a war dog in Vietnam. And that dog's handler is actually going to be speaking at the event. Mm. So that, that, that's pretty cool. That is a Lansing tradition to have that service on the Sunday before Memorial Day. And of course we had to cancel that tradition last year because of the pandemic. Yeah. So the veterans are excited to be back in person again this year. And the, as you said, the ceremonial Memorial Honor Guard will be there. They always do a very meaningful job with that. And so I encourage Lansing residents and veterans to come on out and be honored on Sunday afternoon, 2 p.m. That's at the uh, corner of Glenwood Lansing and Burnham, yep. where you see the memorial with the, the big helicopter on yep. the corner there. That's right. So as we go into the weekend, happy Memorial Day. We hope you enjoyed our uh, pilot video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you have ideas that we should be talking about on these Friday videos, or if you think this is a stupid idea, please let us know. <laughs> let us know. We <laughs> will um, we'll put some information in the, in the story below this video, some links um, to the things that we're talking about, yeah. and, and give us your feedback about this idea. There you go. Thanks for spending some time with us. We appreciate it. Have a good weekend, and happy Memorial Day.